of my Chave Show Express mini series. And uh, what I'm going to cover today is lay uh, layering. And layering um, plays a huge role for us with our, um, our park ants. Um, and what it does is you can, you know, you don't have to create multiple scenes. Like let's say for just, let's just talk about park ants for right now. And let's say we have a red scene, a blue scene, and a green scene, and a yellow, and a pink, and a so forth. You know, instead of making a yellow button, you could theoretically do a red and a green together, turn, turn on both your red scene and green scene, and your light would be yellow. And pretty much you're just layering those colors. And there's some neat tricks that I've learned from um, one of the DJs down in Florida, Storm, um, with you know being able to you know just make a solo strobe button and it'll allow you to strobe any of your colors. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on into the editor, <clears throat> and there's a bunch of stuff in here, and I'm actually in the wrong scene. Let me let me jump into my other profile that I was doing some stuff with. Okay, so this is the right one. Okay, so this is just our our test light. Um, and what we did is we're going to create multiple scenes. And one of the biggest things you need to make sure you do is understanding ghosting, a.k.a. making sure the channels are disabled. That way when you layer an, another scene over top of it, it'll overwrite whatever is currently written in. So, for example, right now all these channels are grayed out. So, and my mouse is just hovering over that one. All these channels are grayed out, which means they're ghosted, they're disabled, they're not active. If we go and we slide up the dimmer, now you see that channel is now green with um, inside the slider. It's now dark. It is now an active channel. So no matter where it is on here now, no matter even if I turn it back down to zero, it's still an active channel. To turn it back to a ghost or disable, you just right click on it and hit disable, it turns it back into a grayed out selection. Um, and for the new guys who are just getting into this, it, it may sound a little bit confusing, but after you play with it, after you see the end result, stick with the video, it'll make sense, I promise. If not, message me and I've spent multiple hours helping out other DJs who are getting into Show Express that needed some you know, guidance. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna just make a couple quick scenes. We're going to turn the dimmer all the way up, and we're just going to make a red scene. So that right now, the light sh should be red. So let's go ahead and just save this. And what, what I'm notorious to do, and everybody, you know, you'll find your groove. You'll find out what works best for you. The way I save my scenes is I make folders. And, for example, this will be my, this is a Puck 3 fixture. So then I'll put all my, all my scenes I've made for that particular fixture in that folder. That way... I know everything that's folders for the Puck 3, and I'm not naming everything Puck 3 dash red light dash whatever. So what I do is I just save it as in a folder Puck 3, and then I save what it is. It's a, it's a red red light. Save it. Now the next one, we're going to make it green. So we're going to bring green up, and we're going to turn red down. Now here's the thing you got to make sure you pay attention for. So. You need to remember, to, if you're going to turn that channel back down to zero, do yourself a favor and disable it. That way, when we activate this green scene in the future, and you start you know, really playing with the layering effects, the other channel is disabled, and it'll, it'll just work better for you in the long run. So it's a good habit to get into, unless you're specifically putting that channel you know, to zero for a reason, i.e. a blackout scene. Okay? So what we've done now is we've brought the green slider up, so now we've got a green light. We're just going to save it. And what I did, actually I saved it as, I overwrote the red by accident, so let me fix that. Okay, sorry. Save. Now we're going to redo that green scene. Disable. And now that's green. This icon right here is a save as, so we'll just call this green. And let's go ahead and make a blue one. Blue. Okay, 
Now, pay attention to this. This is this is the the when layering really comes into handy. So what we're going to do now is be previously, and you may have done this differently. What I've always done is I would make a white strobe, a blue strobe, a green strobe, and so forth, and I would pretty much double my work. So I'd have twice as many buttons as I as I need. But what I've learned is you can disable all your colors. So all these channels here with um, red, red, green, blue, and amber, they're all disabled. And what we'll do is leave the dimmer all the way on, and we're going to bring the strobe all the way on. So right now, the light's not really strobing. It's telling you to, but because no colors are turned on, you're not seeing a strobe. So we're going to save this as just a strobe. Okay? Now what we will do from here is we will go into the live mode and you can close this out, we don't need open right now. Um, we're just going to name this page Puck Threes. And then we're going to go back to this three dots here and click add light scene. And again, saving everything in folders makes it quick when you're trying to find certain scenes. Open that up and we're just going to add all, all four of these scenes. Okay. Now, if you don't like to order these, what you can do is you can right click, move button, and you can bring it down to the bottom, you can move it off to the side. You know, you, you move, move it wherever it is, you know, convenient for you. Um, I personally, I like my strobes to be at the bottom. Now, what I do from here is when you layer, you obviously would turn your DMX on. And let me see if the 3D would actually work for this because maybe a little more visual appealing to see exactly what I'm talking about. Not sure why that's doing that. Oh, okay, it's the first time I've run this open. Now it should work. Okay, so if I turn on my 3D here, and I click blue, I have a blue light. Okay, now if I click on strobe, you see that light's now strobing. Okay, so you could do this with any of the colors. You can just layer in that strobe over top of any of the colors as long as it's the the strobe channel is disabled on when you make these the individual colors. So we got red, we got blue, and we got red. Or sorry, sorry, we got green and red I'm backwards. Now this is what I'm talking about with the layering. Now if I turn on green and go back to kindergarten here and we turn we mix green and red together, you get yellow. So now you don't really theoretically you do not need to make a yellow button. So you, if, if you guys can color mix in your head you know, when you mix yellow and, or um, red and green together, you get yellow. Now, the cool thing is, you make that yellow strobe as well. So you can start layering scenes like this to get in more in-depth, you know, lighting design. Now, what I do for mine is I make the strobe a uh, trigger button or flash button, which means as soon as I click it and I let go of it, it doesn't stay enabled. Unlike these, when I click, it actually enables it, and I let go. So I can have red on, and it, you know, a lot of times strobes, you're just either hitting them for a couple quick seconds, so you can just easily hold it and click down strobe for it strobe, and then let go of it. Um, that's what we do. What, um, another thing we've started doing is we will actually put the strobe on a key for a trigger. So we'll right click, and we'll go to button trigger. And I'll set this, I usually, uh, since it's a flash button, I'm just trying to flash um, the lights real quick. I always make it an F and validate. So now when I press my F on my keyboard, it'll automatically stroke. So it comes in handy when you start building up multiple scenes. And for example, I usually do F for, st for strobe of any color. My S, I always link together. You can link together multiple um, lighting scenes to one key. So my S is always my white pucks, or my white par cans, and my strobe together. So I just need a quick white strobe real quick. I hit S and boom, it goes white and I have the white strobes. So then again, like I said, you can, you know, red and, red and blue usually make it a purple or um, a pink, depending on, you know, your fixtures. Um, again, there you go, color mix, hold down F, 
and we got a stroke. So that's one thing I learned. Um, another cool feature, which I mentioned in my other video, is the solo buttons. So if you're just trying to jump around from you know button to button, what you do is go up here and click for this page, click solo buttons. And what it does, it makes the page so only one button can be selected at a time. Um, this, however, will still work for the, um, the flash button. So you still can strobe while you, while you bounce around. Okay? So that's one particular way that I do my pars. Another thing you could do is um, a blackout scene. And, you know, a lot of times we want a quick blackout for the room. And if you have blue and you have a bunch of other scenes open, you don't want to go and click uncheck all your scenes real quick. So what I do, and you have to do this in order for it to work for an entire blackout, um, you have to go to all your fixtures and do this next step. Um, if we're just trying to do a blackout for just the pars or the pucks for this example, we're just going to make one scene where the dimmer is all the way down at um, zero. So we're going to select our light, get all these channels. It doesn't matter if they're ghosted or not ghosted for this point. But we're going to enable this, and we're just going to make that dimmer down at zero. So now when we pull up the scene, and we, if we have, a, like, let's say we have blue selected, and we're going to name the scene Blackout. Blackout, we'll say Puck. So we know that this, this is just blacking out the pucks. So now when we call this scene, we go and add it. When we call this scene up, it's going to black out whatever's on. Actually, I got solo button still selected. Okay, so now if I, hit, if I enable this, it, should, it blacks out the fixtures. So, and what I do is I don't actually, you know, do it as a button where I click. I always, 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 always make my blackouts for my um, my par cans a, uh, a, a trigger button, which is just a B. So. And then what I do, if, if I make a scene that blacks out everything, um, again, you'd have to go through every individual fixture and put the shutter or the dimmer all the way down to the zero value so I can do that. I make um, make it a capital B. So all I'll do is real quick hit um, hit uh, Shift B or Caps Lock B, and um, it'll black out my entire room. Um, but make sure, I mean, again, it, it's per client what works for you. I always make mine as a flash button again because I'm never blacking out the room for a long period of time. It's always just for you know a quick second to to do an effect. And why is this not triggering properly? No. I don't think it's validate. So there we go. So now whenever I hit B on my keyboard, it blacks out the bucks. So I can get in my strobe. Then I can black out, and while still holding down the strobe, I can come right back to the strobe scene. So, it's um those are some new things I've learned and I fiddle with lately. Um, it definitely definitely will come in handy when you're programming larger light scenes. So um, practice and enjoy, guys. And if you have any questions, leave your comments below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if um, you guys need help with anything. Um, I'm, I'm coming into the prime time of our um, our prom season here for school, so it's going to be very busy until, up until late June, um, and even then we're going to kick into the wedding season. But if you guys need help, just shoot, shoot me a message, and if if I can get some free time, I'll be more than happy to um, you know walk you guys through this. So practice and enjoy, and let me know how um, how you guys are using this for your own scenes, and see what you guys come up with.